like you said, a lot of people, you know, the, we all know the recidivism rate in the penitentiary is, is high. It's a revolving door. And the reason that I found being was most of those individuals, um, a lot of them have mental health issues, but they're also part of their, part of their mental state is they're trying to fulfill a void. So um, most of them have those vices and they, those addictions that they can't shake. And when they go to prison, they never really get rid of them. There's a lot of things you can still do in prison, especially when it comes to drugs and the, and gambling and porn and things like that. Um, so they never they they never get rid of it. And so sitting in prison just gives them the idea or helps create the idea that well, when I get out, I can do it better next time. You know, I just need to be let I need to be free so I can I can be smarter about the dumb decisions that I'm making in my life, right? <laughs> so. Um, and, and that's and, and it's, and it's sad, but it's true. And that's what I found by sitting with these individuals, because, like I said, over the course of my time, there were individuals who had already been locked up, done 8, 10, 12, 15, 20 years, and were coming back in um, within 12 to 36 months, more than once. And I'm like, man, I just want to get let go once. Like, I just want to be free one time. I won't, they ain't got to worry about me ever again. And um, what happened? Like, are you hard headed or you like it here? Nobody likes it here. And I would sit down with these individuals like, what went wrong? And come to find out, like I said, a lot of them were trying to fulfill a void. They still needed, you know, one more drug sale or this 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 money, right? Or this car or this this female or whatever it was that they were involved in. They were trying to fulfill a void. And for me, I had already felt like I've already done it. I've already I've already done all that, seen and done everything there was to do in that street life, that wrong negative mentality. For me, it was all about getting out. And living a domestic lifestyle. Because prior to going to prison, I didn't wake up next to the same woman every day. I didn't take out the trash, cut the grass, pay bills, like just live a domestic lifestyle, take vacations and things like that. So that's all I yearned for. And so I started with part of my personal growth and development process. My daily process was reading on how to become a good husband, how to become a good father, how to become, how to live that domestic lifestyle. So I, I, you know, I tell everybody, it, I've read all of Nicholas Sparks books and watched the movies. <laughs> so that is totally awesome. What, what would you do when you have those relapses or when things don't go according to plan? And it's so easy just to fall back and accept, okay, no, nope, I can't do that. What do you tell yourself? How do you keep yourself going? That's a really great question. Um, for me, everything everything that I do moving forward is non-negotiable. So it's it's you know I wake up at three o'clock every morning, seven days a week, and 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 that's there's twofold. So part of that is um, because it's hard for me, right? And and because I've I've made a certain level of success and growth, I understand that comfort is most people's downfall. So because three o'clock in the morning is so uncomfortable, it's like a, a self-inflicted adversity. And we all know that any adversity we face makes us stronger once we overcome it, right? It, it, it really defines, a man is defined by the adversity that he, he, get, he makes it through, not through the comfort. You can't define who you are, what you'll do in a state of comfort. So I get up at three o'clock every morning. That being said, <clears throat> those things are non-negotiable. And so if, if it, when, when a, a, a setback occurs or the thought process, the negative thought seeps in, that negative self-talk tries to, tries to take over my, my, my mind and, and doing something um, that's going to be better or, or a risk, um, I just simply use my non-negotiable, auto-suggestive um, thought process. 